drenched and battered, these are the homes of California after a series of unforgiving storms lashed them since the start of the year. Gusts of wind and record-breaking rainfall have triggered mudslides and falling trees, flooding entire towns and leaving thousands of homes without electricity. All the creeks had overflowed and there were rocks and boulders and mud. It was really horrific. People had to be airlifted out with helicopters. And it was really devastating to see your town in that level of destruction. My windows in the back were completely blown out. Uh, all my tables were kind of strewn around. My floors were obviously ruined. And uh, our floors had kind of warped. This bridge in West Sacramento is deep in floodwaters and could get submerged if the levels continue to rise. On the coast in Rio del Mar, a woman frantically fills up sandbags to stop water from leaking into her house. And even the roads of Montecito, home to Hollywood stars, have been smothered in mud. But the worst is by no means over. The California governor warns that more storms and atmospheric rivers are on the way. We expect these storms to continue at least through the 18th of this month. Uh, we expect a minimum three more of these atmospheric rivers in different shapes and forms, depending on different parts of the state. Over half of California's 58 counties have been declared disaster areas, with emergency services estimating that the cost of damage is over $1 billion.